State here with me now to talk about this and everything else. Martin O'Malley, former Democratic candidate for president and governor of Maryland, now a Clinton supporter. Former Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, who backs Donald Trump. Ken Cuccinelli, former Virginia Attorney General, who has endorsed Ted Cruz. And Nina Turner, former Ohio State Senator and backer of Bernie Sanders. Governor Brewer, let me talk to you first. Some tough words from President Obama calling uh, Donald Trump a charlatan and a flim flam man. Do you think that this ultimately might hurt him, Donald well, Trump? Well, no, I don't believe it. I, you know, President Obama just always comes tearing after um, Republicans uh, constantly, uh, calling names and um, calling people bigots and racists, and that's their big comeback, you know, and it's absolutely uh, ridiculous. That's actually an interesting to point, though. To see a though, president speak like that is, 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 is well, offensive. But, but, but we've, heard, we've heard President Obama in three, this will be the third presidential election where President Obama has understandably gone after the Republican nominee, twice they were challenging him directly. <laughs> is there kind of like a built-in numbness that the American public might have to this, given that he's gone after Mitt Romney and John McCain, and now it's Donald Trump? I mean, maybe they just tune it out. And me. No, I think that He went after you? Is that I what you're saying? I think there's something very, very different here, Jake. Okay. And Governor Brewer, uh, President Obama doesn't say this about all Republicans, but he does say rightly that Donald Trump is a bigot. Donald Trump is a racist. Donald Trump, in fact, is making fascist appeals. That's why many self-respecting Republicans are not supporting Donald Trump for president. Look, being president of the United States is the toughest job in the world. And I can tell you, as someone who has uh, worked with Secretary Clinton and competed against her, that she is a tough person who's ready to do this job. Donald Trump is an unstable charlatan who is appealing to the worst instincts in people. And I believe, ultimately, the American people are going to reject that. This is a very different sort of candidacy. This is not the party of Lincoln. Let me, can, you know, let me, Martin, let me, Martin. Go, oh, okay, Governor Martin, Brewer. You know, yes, Governor Brewer. You know, we need to discuss policy. And every well, time... Well, I'm trying to do that. Let's with, talk about immigration, with, with, Governor. Uh, with uh, President Obama and Hillary Clinton, every time you disagree with them, it doesn't matter which subject it is, you're a bigot or you're a racist. No, that's not true. And I'll talk let's immigration talk until true. we go home well, tomorrow well, night. Let, let me bring absolutely. in Ken Cuccinelli. Let's talk about immigration. Governor, let me take one break here Look, for one second. I want to bring in Ken Governor Cuccinelli. Governor Brewer is absolutely right about that. This is a fallback when you have a president who cannot defend his policies and their outcomes, yeah. and so he jumps immediately to the race card, racist card in particular. It's a common tactic for Whoa, Democrats. Well, have you endorsed, have you endorsed Donald Trump? Trump? I'm going to. I expect to vote for him in November. So, you will vote but I have but seen this. Yeah. I've seen this tactic. I've seen that it's not November yet. I've seen this tactic over and over and over. We've all seen it, and frankly, the media plays along with it. They 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 publish it, and it's the first question we're talking about. Gives it legitimacy. Look, I supported well, someone else. We're, in just the quote, we're just playing but a quote. We're just playing a quote from he, President Obama. He's got. I understand that. He's got plenty. What you cover well, matters. Well, what about and, and he's got plenty, plenty of you know inflammatory statements for the Dems to go after. That's very unfair to say that about it, the president. It, he, and it, well, I'm not saying that I mean, about the president. I'm saying about Donald he, Trump. He he's not, got plenty of inflammatory statements. The, the president doesn't go, go so. off every day calling people bigots. But what he has said about bigotry and what Mr. Trump is shaking up within the American people is very real. And as a leader, somebody who wants to be the next president of the United States of America, he does have a responsibility not to inflame. Now, on the other side of that, though, as Americans, we do have to deal with racism. I mean, Mr. Trump didn't put a sleeper sure. spell on folks who voted for him. I'm not saying everybody who voted for him are racist. But we have some deep-seated racism in this country that we need to deal with. But to say that the president plays to that, when, when Mr. Trump is the one that called him a birth, uh, you know, uh, the leader of the birther movement, trying to delegitimize his presidency? You want to talk about race? This is real, but the president is on to something that we don't have time for this. Let me ask you a question, Governor Brewer. I, I get your point that, that every time, in your view, that Republicans do or say something that Democrats don't like, Democrats accuse them of being racist. Right. But have you heard anything from Donald Trump that you consider to be, at the very least, uh, racially tinged or offensive on a racial level? I think that uh, Mr. Trump is new to the political uh, arena and that he has said things that uh, he had to walk back a little bit, things that I wasn't comfortable with. But dang it, I get fed up 
that we hear over and over and over again from the President of the United States that every time somebody wants to support uh, the Constitution and the rule of law, that we are out there because we are racist and bigots. But and we that lived in Arizona just have true. lived with diversity our whole but governor, life. He doesn't, he doesn't and say it's that, Governor. unbelievable but, that that stays just constantly. But what about that time Hillary does the, the same term, thing. Crooked Hillary you is out in there. The face. It's, it's ridiculous. He does, Let's, he look does, no. governor, Let's look at what Donald Trump actually actually says. I mean, in the recent case, I mean, he was running that con and the flim flam to try to rip people off with the with Trump University. Oh, please, and the judge Martin. sitting in judgment on that case, governor, was a ju judge whose parents happened to be of Mexican descent. Not happened and to be, Donald they are. And they're, they're, they're Donald they're Trump. They're from Mexico. They are. Donald, yeah. But the judge was born right. in the United States. And Donald Trump tried to get that, tried to say the judge isn't qualified because he's of a Mexican background. Was that because one of the, Donald just, Trump what, hates Mexicans, that means that judge can't do his job. I think now, surely, respect, Governor, I, you can't agree I, that that is proper behavior for a man who's running for president. Governor Brewer, I'm going to give you the last word, and then we have to take a break. In that respect, I think that uh, Judge Carell has a stunning reputation. And I don't believe that Donald Trump meant it in the manner that he said it. I believe that he felt that he was being treated unfairly in regards because to this issue. Because he hates issue. Mexicans? No. I can't believe you're supporting Donald Trump, Jan. Let's take, a, let's, let's take, a, it. Just, let's take a very quick it. break. A very quick break. Got to pay some bills. We're going to come back. Stay with us. We have a rather intense debate going on here. Also, if you want to be Donald Trump's vice president, you better call him now. 